Hello everyone, we're going to take a look at more data today, and finally we've hit scatter plots. Scatter plots use our graph that we learned earlier this year on the coordinate plane, so of course there's going to be your x-axis, your horizontal axis, your y-axis, which is your vertical axis. There's still going to be an origin, which is 0, 0. Um, so don't forget about all of that good stuff. Um, remember, if you have a coordinate like 2, or you have an x and a y coordinate so you would run one two and you would jump four so run two jump four all right so that's a little review of how we use the graph um run jump x-axis y-axis origin all right so we're going to look at scatter plots today which use the same graph so here we're looking at a y-axis the y-axis is labeled income the x-axis is labeled education so what does it look like happens? Let's, I think that this is years of education. So, um, and then the income, maybe what people make a year. So um, is there a pattern that we can find on this graph? Well, it kind of looks like, even though we don't have like a direct line, it looks like generally the more education somebody has, the higher the income they have. Um, the dots tend to go up in this situation. All right, so that's a positive correlation. Um, positive correlation means that when the number on the x-axis goes up, the number on the y-axis goes up as well. So let's take a look, see if they give us some more detail on this. Look at the organization tool or the data organization tool. What do you notice? Notice the dots kind of are getting further up on the y-axis as they get further up on the x-axis. What do I wonder? I wonder all sorts of stuff, like um, when when was this taken? Is this years of education, including college? Is this how much money they make a year or a month? Um, as one increases, the other one increases. We did figure that out. As the x-axis got bigger, the y-axis got bigger, too. You can kind of see once again that we have a general pattern where we're going up on both. All right, so we can use this data to see if two things are related. Um, education and income does look related on this one. The more years of education someone has, the greater the income. This is comparing a person's income to their education level. We look at the scatter of the data in uh, dots to see if there's a relationship. And there's somewhat of a relationship because these dots seem to go higher on the y as they go higher on the x. So the relationship as one increases, the other one increases. So the x-axis goes up, the y-axis goes down. So like, as we define up on the x-axis, our data is headed downwards. as well. So um, on this one, we can say a positive correlation. Um, as the temperature goes up, so does the sales of ice cream. Um, on this one, you're going to create the scatter plot. So um, this is going to be a little hard on your computer if you don't have a touch screen. Um, but if you created this one, um, remember x and y. So um, that's it.